what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Lexus RX350 can take you to some really cool places. Whether it be through bike riding, camping, or even towing a U-Haul trailer through most of North America. So let's go ahead and break down that really easy install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation. To start, we're going to prep the underbody of our vehicle by removing this underbody panel. It's held in by 13 fasteners. We're gonna start by removing eight screws using a 10 millimeter socket. Next, we're going to remove three push pin fasteners. And the third push pin will be behind the driver's side lining in the wheel well. And last, we're going to remove these two twist fasteners on the passenger side. Now with all of our fasteners removed, we'll go ahead and remove our underbody panel. And we'll set this aside to reinstall later. Next on the passenger side, we're gonna remove this rubber exhaust hanger. And we'll go ahead and spray it with some soapy water. And then we'll use our exhaust removal pliers to remove that hanger. Starting on the driver's side, we're gonna remove this tow hook right here. It's held in by two bolts. It's also on the passenger side next to the exhaust. We're gonna remove these bolts using a 17 millimeter socket. And we'll repeat the same on the passenger side. Now back on the driver's side, we're gonna remove these two plastic plugs in the frame rail. And this gives us access to our three weld nuts that we'll be using. And we'll repeat the same on the passenger side. All right, now we're ready to bring our hitch into position. We will be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands as this hitch can be a little heavy. Now that we have our hitch all lined up, we're ready to bring our hardware into place. Our kit provides a bolt and conical tooth washer for each of our attachment points. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the teeth on the washer are facing up towards the hitch. Now this installation gives you the option of reinstalling the tow hook. You'll just line it up with those same two weld nuts that it was attached to, and you'll use the new bolts and thread it into place. and we'll repeat the same on the passenger side. Now we're ready to tighten and torque all of our bolts according to the manufacturer specifications. We'll be using a 19 millimeter socket and it does help if you have a five inch extension. Now we're going to reinstall our exhaust hanger. I'm just gonna use some soapy water. To reinstall our underbody panel, we're gonna to need to modify it to be able to fit underneath our vehicle and around the hitch. In this section right here, following our manufacturer's instructions, we went ahead and marked a spot that we're gonna to need to cut out for our hitch to sit into. And we're gonna be using our air saw to cut that. And there is a second cut that we'll need to make on the passenger side of our underbody panel. We'll be making a cut right here following our manufacturer's instructions for our hitch arm to sit into. With the cuts now made, we went ahead and reinstalled our underbody panel. As you can see, our hitch receiver fits real nicely into that first cut and our arm fits pretty well into the side. So now let's go ahead and pull it down on the level ground to show you some measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is five and a half inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 16 inches. And that will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories. So that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more information on this product, 
or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.